watched last week, you probably know that Elijah did some pretty awesome things. How could anyone ever expect to be as cool as him? He defeated the prophets of Baal through the power of God. So how do you think a prophet named Elisha compared to Elijah? Now I know their names sound similar, but they are two different people. Today, we will be hearing how Elisha became a prophet of God. He wanted to spread the good news of God and knew that he needed a few things. What do you think they were? We will find out in this very video. But first, let's worship. Starlight, a river. He moves the earth and the seas. Big light, a mountain. He overshadows our valleys. Greater than our fear and stronger than How good are you at finding things inside of images? Well, let's put that to the test with our game called, Where is Elijah? We have been learning about some of the amazing things that God has done through Elijah. So why not play a game where we try to find him? We will have a total of four images for you to search through. See if you can find him in each one of them. Where was Elijah in the last image? Did you find him or did he just vanish? 
We'll find out more about where Elijah went in our story today. Thanks for playing, everyone. See you next week for another fun game time. In our last photo, I gotta admit, Elijah was gone. He was nowhere to be found in the last picture. Today, we are going to be hearing about where Elijah went and why he couldn't be found anymore. Where do you think he went? I'll give you a hint. It's not New York. It's definitely not Canada. <laughs> Instead, God took him up to heaven. But before he moved on, Elijah had a pretty important gift for Elisha. Through this story, we'll also learn about a gift that we can receive. That reminds me of our big idea. Repeat after me. God's Spirit helps believers to share the good news of Jesus with others. Did you catch the gift? It's the Holy Spirit! Well, let's watch our story to hear more about how Elisha became a prophet of God. Elijah was a powerful prophet to Israel, but God had a plan for another man to be a prophet after Elijah. That man's name was Elisha. Ooh. Elisha followed Elijah and served him for several years. When the time came for the Lord to take Elijah up to heaven, Elisha did not want to leave Elijah. Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to Bethel. But Elisha said, as long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to Bethel. At Bethel, Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to Jericho. But Elisha said, as long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to Jericho. At Jericho, Elijah said, Elisha, stay here. The Lord is sending me to the Jordan River. But Elisha said, as long as you are alive, I will not leave you. So they went together to the Jordan River. A crowd of prophets watched Elijah and Elisha as they stood by the river. Elijah rolled up his cloak and hit the water with it. The river parted and they crossed to the other side. Elijah asked, is there anything I can do for you before I go? Elisha said, I want a double portion of the spirit that you have. Elijah said, if you see me go, you will have it. Suddenly, a chariot of fire with horses of fire appeared and drove between them. Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elisha watched as Elijah went away. Then he picked up Elijah's cloak and went back to the river. He hit the water and it parted for him to cross to the other side just as it had for Elijah. The crowd of prophets was there watching and they saw that the spirit that was with Elijah was now with Elisha. The prophets searched for Elijah but they could not find him since God had taken him up to heaven. God gave Elisha the same spirit that was in Elijah, so Elisha could carry out his mission as a prophet. Years later, Jesus told his followers to wait for the Holy Spirit. God gives believers the Holy Spirit so that they can share the gospel with the world. Have you ever grabbed a banana and thought to yourself, how in the world am I going to open this? Maybe the first time you saw one, you did, but now you know that all you need is your hands. Okay, what about this one? You see a nail in a piece of wood. Now, you can open a banana with your hands, but you can't put the nail into the piece of wood with your hands. You need a hammer. Elisha knew he needed something special to get the job done as well. His special tool wasn't a hammer or his hands. Instead, he needed something more powerful. He needed the Holy Spirit. Elisha knew that he would need something special to get this job done, especially since he couldn't do this job with his own power. So he asked that he would receive a double portion of the spirit that Elijah had. Elisha wanted God's spirit to be upon him, helping him remain faithful to his calling as a prophet. God promised to equip Elisha for his ministry. 
he would continue to walk faithfully with God, confronting sin in Israel's leaders and challenging the people to return to the one true God. We can also be bold in asking God to be with us so we can do the work He is calling us to do. In fact, God promises to send the Holy Spirit upon His believers so that we can share the gospel with the world. Because God is the one who gives us power to tell others, we can be bold in our faith. Apart from God, we can have no power on our own. It is God who helps us grow in our faith and tell others about the incredible things He has done. Go ahead and close your time by reading scripture and praying together as a family. You can find our story in 2 Kings chapter 2, verses 9 to 18. When you pray, thank God for sending His Holy Spirit and ask for boldness to share the gospel to whoever needs it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope to see you again next week when we hear about the miracles that Elisha performed.